So I said, all right, if you, if you want more difficult problems, then I'll give you more difficult problems. So. Well, it, it's problem was so hard, it made somebody so scared they had to hide in the bathroom on the other side of the school. So you have 10 raised to the 2x plus 3 equals 5. <laughs> yeah, it scared the Red Wings. Um, now, let's go through our steps that uh, we talked about. The first thing I want you guys to do, first thing is to always isolate the exponent. Okay, Brianna? Isolate the exponent. You guys can see my exponent is 10 raised to the 2x. So if I'm going to isolate that, I can see my 10 to the 2x is being added by 3. So I subtract 3. Everybody follow me right there. OK. Now, the next thing is, can I re use, this, use the 1 to 1 property? Can I find two numbers raised to a power that both, that are raised to the, I'm sorry, can I have two, po two numbers with the same base raised to powers that are going to be 10 and 2? Yeah. Is 2 raised to a number give you 10? Yeah. Well, let's check it. So 2 to the first power, 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 to the fourth, let's just do that. 2, 4, 8, 16. So unfortunately, 2 raised to a power doesn't give us 10. So the problem is, guess what? We can't use the one-to-one -one property. We can't do what we've done. But we always want to look to that first because do you guys agree it is kind of easy. Once you get them to be the same, you just know the powers are the same. Or once you get the bases to be the same, you just set the exponents equal or the powers equal to each other. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, so then what do you do? So what do you do when the bases are not the same and you can't get them to be the same? What we do is we're going to take the log of base 10 of both sides. Now, the reason why I'm taking log base 10 is because I want you guys to notice that the base of my logarithm is the same as the base of my exponent. And that's not by coincidence. I chose to do log base 10 because the only reason why I chose log base 10 is because that is the base of my exponent. Well, why would you want the base of your logarithm to be the same base as your exponent? Because what did this rule state over here? When you have the logarithm of the same base of what you're taking the logarithm of, you're just equal to 2x equals log base 10 of 2. Then, can we solve for x? Yeah, just divide by 2. So x equals log of 2 divided by 2. Now. You are going to have to either use your scientific for today. You can use your scientific calculator on your phone or in a calculator. And we do need to evaluate for logarithm. So that's why we need a scientific calculator. Now, the nice thing about this, Brianna, is that log in your calculators is only base 10 unless you have a really, uh, unless you have a new um, uh, TI calculator. Your, um, your calculator automatically does log base 10. So therefore, that's why I didn't. That's why I dropped the 10 because that's the only thing your calculator will do would be log base 10. So you just hit log of 2 divided by 2, and I get x is approximately 0.15. Charge. It's something that um, this is old technology that we call batteries. <laughs> 